Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back to Tina Dew Children Lore Update family. Thank you all so much for pulling up and supporting this channel. You're all amazing. In this video, we're going to talk about the perfect low budget holiday of, that the children will love this summer. By low budget, we mean around £500 to £600 for a three nights or four days holiday for a family of four to go to Disneyland Paris. I will soon do another video focusing on cheap inclusive holiday destinations. While I was preparing another video I thought about how many ways one can book a cheap trip to Disneyland Paris this summer. And then I thought, I had another thought, um, what are the cheapest ways to arrange a Disneyland Paris trip or holiday for a family of four this summer? Uh, just for information purposes, uh, I think I ought to mention this uh, at the outset, that you can take a flight to Charles de Gaulle Airport um, in Paris from most UK airports. And this travel method is probably cheaper than traveling via train from the UK to um, central Paris. And then when you get to Paris, you can make your way to Disneyland Paris via train or coach. I'm not going to go into detail on how you can do this because this is the bog standard way of doing it. Good for you if you can fork out the £3,000 this summer for a package holiday for a three nights or four days holiday in Disney, Disneyland Park from the Disneyland Paris website. But if you want to know a cheaper alternative way of making this happen for your child, then stay tuned. Um, I think I should first mention how to book the holiday directly from um, the website of um, Disneyland Paris directly. There are mainly three different ways to book a holiday on the Disneyland Paris website. The first method uh, is for one to book the Disneyland Paris Hotel or their partner hotel plus ticket, that's a separate package, that's one. The second option on their website is you can book tickets directly from them, and, and, by, and I mean only tickets, you can book your ticket directly from them. And of course, this assumes that you will arrange your own separate tra travel arrangements and accommodation. And the other third way, which features on their website, is a combination of three. Uh, basically, you can book all three components of the holiday on their website, namely the transportation from London to Dover. You can also book the hotel or the partner hotel and tickets simultaneously. On their website, interestingly enough, tickets cost a single ticket costs more than £100 per person if you're booking in late July 2024. So the ticket for a family of four will be around £400. That's quite steep for some people. The price of a packaged holiday on Disneyland Paris website is what it is. And um, we shall leave that as it is. However, we're now going to explore the travel arrangement that uh, would enable uh, one to make their own arrangement. So effectively, um, we're, go we're going to uh, look at how you can book, arrange, uh, find out your own holiday package by yourself. So I'm not going to uh, explore uh, the usual travel arrangements which most people do via Eurotunnel. 
I will leave that to you to explore if you choose to go down that route. However, it's worth mentioning that summer is their peak season for the prices. So I'm just going to talk about how a family of four can somehow go to Disneyland Paris on a very low budget. If you're going to do Disneyland Paris on a budget, then please give thoughtful consideration to these seven tricks that will give you the best deal on a low budget. The first trick is to buy dated ticket, uh, tickets, buy dated Disney tickets rather than undated Disney tickets. Um, so the, Disney, the, Dis, the dated Disney tickets will have the specified date of when you're going to use the ticket. But there are those tickets which do not specify date but you can use over a period of time. So buy dated Disney tickets rather than undated tickets. Number two, use reseller ticket sellers or ticket sites rather. Use reseller ticket sites, websites. There are many websites uh, who are resellers to um, um, Disneyland Paris, uh, their tickets. But consider uh, attractiontickets.com. Attractiontickets.com. There you will see various attraction and various deals. And um, from what, from when I last look, it will be cheaper uh, than the Disneyland Paris website. But I will advise check both prices. But the last time I checked. Uh, Attractiontickets.com was the, the price of the tickets was um, a lot cheaper. You're likely to get good deals from resellers. You can also try another uh, reseller, Ticketmaster.fr. That's F for Freddy, R for Romeo. Ticketmaster.fr. And I had a quick look on the prices of tickets, uh, and I found that they're uh, almost half price uh, to those listed on the. Um, Disneyland Paris website. The third thing I would suggest is that um, do a day trip. The children can have a wonderful one day trip ticket. And uh, on the other days of their holiday, of the holiday you've booked, you can take the children to other attractions, other events, other things um, that they can visit around Paris. So you will make it a single day trip, but other attractions you will take them to on other days. So the children will love the variety and they will not get bored. The fourth um, option or big old trick that I will suggest that you try is that while you are on the reseller websites, check to see whether you're eligible for discounts because sometimes um, companies give discounts to resellers, but you have to look well um, and it's stuck in there somewhere, you may just find that you're eligible for those dis discounts. You can never tell. You may just find additional discounts other than reduced price tickets. Um, then another thing I can suggest, number five, uh, is to register for the cheapest Disneyland annual pass and get more discounts and concessions by doing so. So there are many categories of uh, Disney annual pass but I will say go for the cheapest one obviously I say so because if you're looking at your budget you go for the cheapest one which is a pay monthly I think it's about 18 pounds or so per month but the, the there are benefits when you do register so that can also bring down your cost price to getting a ticket to enter a Disneyland Paris then the other thing I want to, uh, I think we're number six. The other thing I want to suggest, again, it's a suggestion, is to avoid buying too many souvenirs at the Disneyland Paris uh, venue or uh, attraction or is it um, um, resort? Uh, I mean, the actual playground or is it the park? Yeah, it's called parks. I say this because you, there will be temptation to buy all official pictures because they do provide of official pictures at the um, 
at the rides and at the various attractions which they've packaged together there. But you can also take your own pictures. Obviously, there's some attractions which you go through tunnels which they take the pictures and you pay for. It's up to you to decide how many you pay. But then again, when it comes to souvenirs, most of the souvenirs you see in the uh, attraction and in, in the site, they're usually pricey. But you can get the equivalent um, souvenirs uh, at various shops in Manila Valley. Manila Valley is the uh, town or village where Disneyland Paris is located. So you may, you may get the same souvenirs at cheaper prices outside of Disneyland Paris. Uh, a seventh um, suggestion which I'd like to make while you're making while you're trying to get this package holiday put together is to and try as much as possible to find accommodation outside the Disneyland Paris Park. You will find that they are usually much much cheaper. In terms of accommodation, I would advise that you book your own accommodation and save loads. Um, I promise you, you will save money if you. Um, look around and search for your own accommodation by yourself instead of looking for the one which are highlighted on various um, basically I would suggest you shop around in terms of accommodation um, because you've got different um, providers you've got Disney providing its own accommodation you've got the partner hotels who also provide accommodation and um, and then you've got other hotels who are not partner hotels, but they're all around the Manila Valley uh, region, I mean, town or village. I think I also uh, would like to mention that um, the, the only thing your child will miss from not staying at Disney uh, hotel or Disney past partner accommodation um, is the taking of pictures with Disney characters before breakfast. Um, so your kid may miss that, but your child will get plenty of opportunities to take pictures with these characters once you arrive at Disney itself. So you, you, all the pictures, you can still have all those characters. They're all within the resort. I mean, within the um, Disneyland Paris uh, venue. And you, your child can take as many pictures with different characters. So um, it's up to you. I think that... Um, for value for money, you can avoid uh, the partner hotels and still give your child that wonderful experience at Disney itself. Um, so let's just talk about the cost of travel a little bit. Um, and since I do not know from where you're traveling from in the UK, so let us just assume uh, transportation cost will start at Dover. I know you, there are costs related to traveling to Dover, but because I don't, I'm not sure where you're traveling from, so I'm just going to go with the one which we can predict, which is the from Dover into France. We can uh, roughly estimate what those costs uh, may look like. Now, after you have purchased the ticket, following the advice which I've provided earlier uh, in this video, then the next thing to do is to find out how you're going to get to Disney and how you're going to ensure you get a really cheap but comfortable accommodation, family friendly at Manet La Vallée or near Disneyland Paris. The first budget option which I have tried and it worked for me and my family is to drive the family to Disneyland Paris in a car. I've done this. Um, I've done this quite a few times, and the family really loved the experience. So breaking that down a little bit, the journey from Calais by car to Manila Valley, where Disney, Disneyland Paris is located, is about two hundred and ninety-eight kilometers, and about three hours drive. Um, but really, when you start driving, you don't really think it's that long because you've got the company of the family, you're chatting, you're stopping. And it, it doesn't look long at all, but um, before you know it, you're there, you know, and you're following the signs. Um, but one thing which we, which we did when we went on a really tight budget trip to, uh, to Disney or Manila La Vallée 
is that we bought most of our food, snacks and drinks from the UK. And the food, the car was packed with food. And um, that kept the uh, children busy until we got to um, Disneyland Paris. So uh, I, I'm just going to speak from my own experience. So other people, please put your views in the chat, in the, uh, in the comments below regarding what you think about accommodation and about the um, tickets and about the journey, your experience. So in my view, um, a good budget accommodation in Manet La Vallée var varies in price. And um, I have stayed with my family in hotels, but I will recommend re Resid Home Val de, de, de Europe. Let me say that again. Resid Home Val d'Europe. So it's spelled R-E-S-I-D-H-O-M-E V-A-L-D-E-U-R-O-P-E. -E -E. So I'll put the, the link to this, to this um, accommodation in the comments below so you can people can have it um go there and have a look and you can also do uh, booking.com so um you're free to uh, search around but i'm just giving you a rough idea of w what it's like when you b do all the booking yourself so rested home value europe is like uh, an Airbnb, airbnb style accommodation but it goes beyond that um, they prove they clean the house regularly and it's very neat, very tidy, and you have cooking facilities in there, and um, the sheets are changed every day. So it's like a hotel, but it's uh, and also looking like a home. It's like a flat, so it's really nice, really comfortable. So um, yeah, and it's very affordable. Uh, at least when we when we used it. And like I said, you can also use Booking.com to arrange your accommodation hotel at Mane La Vallée. So when you put all that together, you may begin to see the price begin to come down and it then becomes affordable. Another way to arrange cheap transportation is to find a place somewhere to stay in the Calais region. So as soon as you cross from Dover to Calais, find a place to stay. That will be the holiday place for the family. But you will then do a day trip to uh, Mane La Vallée in um, uh, Disneyland Paris. And, um, and that will be done via train. Take your train from Calais to Disneyland Paris. The cost of return ticket from Calais to Mane La Vallée station, where um, Disneyland Paris is situated, for a family of four is approximately 200 pounds. Please click share like subscribe uh, this video so i know you like this video and so i know that you've enjoyed it and so i can make more video of this type that can benefit families and carers with children another way to arrange transportation is to find an accommodation in paris get to paris and then take a disneyland disneyland shuttle or coach from Gare du Nord station to that's Gare du Nord that's G A R E D U N O R D Gare du Nord to Disneyland Paris. Travel time is 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 really long. It's more than three hours, and the bus uh, journey costs about fifty pounds per person. In summary, in a nutshell, my favorite cheap way to get to Disney, Disneyland Paris from from Dover is to go with a car. You can hire a roof box to increase the creature comfort um, that you can take from your home to the um, destination or accommodation. A rough idea of what a cheap holiday of three nights or four days in Disneyland Paris for a family of four in late July in 2024 will look something like this. So around 129 pounds for a piano ferry transportation with your car then around uh, 387 pounds for airbnb style accommodation uh, you, you can get this cheaper with a diligent search but i found this accommodation for family of four at my first search the entry pass to disneyland paris uh, will be about 200 pounds if you use all those 
um, and you may even get it cheaper um, for a family of four using all the various websites and discounts that you may be entitled to. Food and drink at the resort would depend on you. In other words, the food and drink during your holiday packet that you've put together would depend on your on what you've budgeted for. So I'm not going to comment on that. And also, I have not included the petrol cost. Um, so that one too will vary depending on all the various destinations that you may want to go with the family once you get into uh, Manila Valley. Uh, but I do. I, I would say that there there are so many things to do. Uh, there is uh, the the shopping malls you can go to, and then they've got this really beautiful um, uh, high end shopping arcade, which um, believe you me, I just walked through. <laughs> I was feeding my eyes and my family. We all looked, didn't touch it, didn't buy anything there because they were uh, above my league uh, at the time. I have to say. So um, uh, I would I, I I have not included the cost of petrol, and um, so putting all everything that we set together, if you put the four days holiday package to Dis Disneyland uh, Paris together by yourself, uh, bring frugal using all the various tips I've given you or the, all the things I've shared in this video, you could make lots of savings and or create an unforgettable experience for your children or your child for just over £600. I hope you have found this useful um, and I hope that you, you are going to take your child to that Disneyland Paris and uh, on a budget successfully. So yes, this has been provided to you by uh, Tino Dew Children Law Updates. We provide regular updates regarding um, so, um, news about ch safeguarding children and working together at uh, various agencies to ensure that ch children have a proper childhood. So please let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. And if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please make sure you do so. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much.